Hey guys, it's Geezer. Today we're going to be looking at the terrific uh, Game Lights vending machine bunker and correcting one of the weaknesses that it has being the stone foundation that the vending machine rests on. Um, stick around uh, at the end of the video and I also have one more really big advantage of this improvement that I'm showing you today. As you can see, destroying the stone, stone foundation or um, eco rating through it destroys the vending machine, typically even if it's correctly placed with no gaps. If we push it in deeper, we start to see good things happen. So let's test that more and see what you will need to do to create a bunker that doesn't require an upgraded high qual foundation to sit on. And uh, if it's eco rated, the bunker will not open or be susceptible to opening through the door. So if we push it in, measuring on these stone tiles here, that's a great way to measure. Uh, we'll find that at least 60% or less by judging on the tiles here. So that's about two thirds. What happens is it is not enough. So, yeah, and I also tested it on an angle here. So one side is two thirds and one side is one third of that stone, first row of stone um, covered. And what will happen then? It does not work. So the entire vending machine has to be pushed in um, more than 60%. So, you know, basically 40% of this first row of stone tiles exposed or more, if that makes sense. And then your vending machine will be still sealed if they destroy that. And the raiders, of course, may not be aware of that condition either. TC placement is easy generally. I haven't had problems um, looting it across many tests. I very rarely, unless it's pushed all the way back, I could almost always loot the, the TC. I've done hundreds of these now, and I almost never had trouble leaving it. Again, sometimes the high qual frame needs to be reversed. But uh, again, that's not very often either. Even with a door, it's no problem. I reverse the vending machine when I place it, as you'll want to have that storage facing out anyways, and I find it's easier to put it in deep, more deeply. There's an example of a TC placement. It could be on an angle with one edge um, closer to the vending machine. That's fine. Um, no problem looting it. And here is uh, another tip. So if you have it more deeply in, now you can create an external loot room. Um, basically, uh, outside of the vending machine bunker, you can place this triangle shelf. Um, whereas um, normally you wouldn't be able to or you'd have a lot of trouble placing the shelf because of the perimeter or the space required for the vending machine would prevent it. But now all of these successful bunkers that we've, these improved vending machine bunkers will allow for a triangle on the outside. Even though it clips through a tiny bit, it's no problem. Of course, in, in reality, build a jump up on the outside or some twig on the outside to, to put it in so you don't um, add the stone cost there. We've repeated it many times, many more than this actually. I've edited a lot out. That's all I've got for you today. So thanks for watching, guys. What do you think? Take care.